Hey guys, what's up? It's Ben here. Um, so it's been about two days since I was at Cousin Pony Blast. I just got back. I've been super busy. I've been moving house all day today, so it's been fucking sweaty work. But back again now. Uh, Grant has just finished prepping the whole car, uh, the bumper for paint and all the lights for the, uh, the smoking and also we're doing the badges, so we're painting the badges and uh, polishing the car and whatnot. So let's go have a look at what he's been up to. Uh, he's just run out but go have a look real quick. There's some sick cars in the shop today as well. So here's the bumper, pretty much ready for paint. I think he's just been uh, sanding it today, so we'll, uh, we'll see when he comes back, but yeah. As you can see, it's been really nicely sanded. And the uh, front license plate is completely gone. Smoothed up this whole thing here, so it looks really good. Nice, wide open mouth at the front now. All the little cracks have been uh, sanded out, looks like. And yeah, it's just looking, looking mint. We've also got a... Um, Audi R8 GT, which is fucking sick. There's carbon fiber everywhere on this car. And this is what um, the paint job is actually peelable paint from Autoflex. You guys might have seen I shot uh, Victor, the owner of Autoflex's uh, color shifting McLaren, the blue and green McLaren. So this is actually basically, this is like paint that you uh, sprayed on and then you can just peel it off um, whenever you want, really can't really tell, obviously it's been done you know, really well, but um, I'm not actually sure what color it was before, I think it might have been white, but you know, it looks awesome, there's carbon everywhere on this car, and it's got a kind of, I'm not sure what the color is, kind of teal and uh, an orange kind of color scheme to it, it looks really, really good. And this is actually a service that, um, that Grant and the boys here at Custom Coatings uh, can do. So basically, if you don't know exactly what you want done with your car, they can do what he calls a color tune. And um, basically, they work with you, they design you know, with color theory, they work out what colors would contrast best with your car. But yeah, it's really cool. And I really like what they've done with this. It's kind of like, I'm probably butchering all the actual colors for this, but this is kind of copper. So there's a bunch of like kind of copper around and the diffuser is probably already there, but they've added these orange accents. You know, little little things like this make a lot of difference. It's really nice. You know, you come around the back here, you know, and it just looks so sick. You know, that little orange accents and the copper, you know, contrasting with that teal makes I think it makes the car look just a bit wider, because you see this piece here that it sticks out so much from there. This looks so good. This car just looks sick in general. I've been in a few of these, they're bloody fun there. They're more of like an everyday supercar, like they're bloody quick. Um, but they're super, super comfortable on the inside, and not as vicious as a Huracan. Been in a few Huracans, been in some of these, and I could definitely drive one of these every day, probably not a Huracan. And then over here, they got the, uh, the prep for the headlights, and all the indicators done. The indicators there, ready to smoke the headlights back here. Got those a little bit scuffed up, so they just like sand them a bit to make sure the uh, the tint stays on or whatever. I'm not sure we'll get Grant to, like I said, explain it better later, but um, I don't even know this, but Grant's also just going to give my car a nice polish and make sure it looks real sweet, so really happy about that. And you might be able to see the faint uh, remains of the, of the logo there, the Fair Lady Z and the Nissan. So I can't wait to see how those look black, it's going to look really good. Yeah, really excited to see uh, see how this all turns out. Uh, here he is. How's it going, mate? Good on you. <laughs> Nice. Um, so as you can see, this bumper looks a lot different. Fuck yeah. To when you last saw this part looks just so good, man. I'm so happy with this. Really happy with so happy. happy. Out, yeah. You know, not bad for my first go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, um, so all the repairs are done. I'll show you what it looks like on the back side. Yeah. So you can see. Oh yeah, nice. We have added the fiberglass in there, yeah. both sides. Um, what I ended up doing was obviously you saw how much fiberglass I put there was about yeah. 
It's about that much more. Yeah. So that's the idea is that you add more than you need and then you just cut it back yeah. and turn it back yeah. to its final position. Yeah, well it looks perfect, man. Yeah, and then when you look from the front, let's go hold it up like that. Yeah. This so looks beautiful. Yeah, we've got that nice and consistent through there. Yeah. And the way I did that was I just used the essentially a ruler and a pencil, you know, and I just measured that. Oh, really? Yeah, traced oh, wow. that line through there. Because that's the, the vantage point that you have when it's mounted to the car, right? You're looking down. Yeah. So that just needed to be as tidy as possible. True, and true, yeah. yeah. It's quite pleased now that I look at it all sanded and. Yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah, it looks nice as. Yeah, and it's all in one color. It's always hard to see. Uh, Shapes and lines when it's in different colors. Yeah, yeah. Meaning like you know it's, it's black and then it's yeah. sanded and then it's body color. Yeah, yeah. It's quite typical of fiberglass bumpers um, to have these sorts of inconsistencies. Yeah. But that's okay. That's why we do the primer filler. Yeah. So then we can level everything up. Yeah. So this has already been primed. Yes. So yep, this, yep. this is 2K primer full. Um, and all these bits that you can see here, we have gone through are essentially high spots. Oh, uh, yeah. You know what I mean? So if you think of the surface as yep. wavy, the primer fills the low spots, and then there's an extra layer on top of everything. So when you go to sand it, you sand through, and where you break through to the final uh, glass, that, yep. that, those are the bits that's higher than yep. the rest of it. Yep. So that's good, I can see that. So now what I'll do is before I put the top coat on, yep. or the, the base coat color, I'll put another 2K sealer over this yep. to seal everything back. Yep. Otherwise, you'll see these as dull spots in uh, the, yep. in the, um, the final body color if yep. I don't do that. So it was actually a lot worse in terms of the details of the bumper. Yep. It was a lot worse than what it looked like before. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, before we got into the <laughs> oh, no, sorry. The process. But it's okay, that's what this is for. That's what this yeah, part of the, of the process is all about. So. And this, uh, this, I guess, it gives people insight into what it takes to recondition the front bumper, specifically. Yeah, yeah the especially the front. that's facing forward and they're always filled with stone chips and, yeah. you know, the idea with having your bumper reconditioned is to essentially have it back to brand new. Yeah. You know, so we did a test fit of this back on your car just to make sure all the gaps and everything were nice and smooth and consistent yep. and um, <clears throat> there's no you know like where it meets the headlight for example yeah, yeah. and there and where it meets the guard yeah. that's going to be seamless because yeah, the headlight sits like on this yeah pretty area, much yeah. so you can see this lip under here yeah that has yeah, a, that, that, yeah there's yeah, a receiver in. for that under the headlight which oh, was yeah. just lodged from from the accident yeah so so obviously before painting the bumper I had to double check to make sure that all of those, um, yep. all those gaps were nice and clean and smooth. So Sweet. we've got that now. It's just little stone chips. Awesome. Yeah, and need to fill before we put it in the booth. These are in all good condition, eh? Like yeah, they just. Yeah, we'll just get a quick just, scotchy and. Yeah, yeah. And they can get top it because you didn't have them in, installed while you were using it. Eh? No, no. And the guy before me, the guy that I bought it off said that because um, when it was imported from Japan, yeah. they were on and then he took them off immediately. He didn't like them. But oh, I was really? like, fuck. He wanted to have exposed <laughs> you know, every, yeah. everything under, <laughs> under the fucking car exposed. I know. Yeah. So this yeah. software has the, Not like, the so it has the the mix of whatever that the... Yeah, the formulas. Yeah, yeah. Any, any manufacturer. Yeah, yeah. 
So they, whenever they make a car, they have to put it in this and then yes. that. Well, PPG does their own research. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like PPG so, supplies paint to these manufacturers oh, at the manufacturing right. level. Anyway, yeah, so yeah. it's like, oh, like they develop, right, yes. they develop the colors that's cool. for these manufacturers. Yeah. And then, um, that's how they have these. Yeah, yeah. And that's so jet black is jet black. For yeah. Most, uh, most and these are all, uh, so these are all like different, like you mix all of these to make, yeah, yeah, oh that's cool. One of the filters said that formulas call him for jet black. Yeah. So it tells me that I need 263 grams of this yeah. particular filter out of 300. So what happens is it counts it down. But that's funny, it's actually only like less than 80% actually black and then yes. it's actually got a lot of color in it. Yeah. Oh wow. So when you think of pearl metallic, that's less color and more of an effect with oh. that makes sense. Yeah yeah. So your typical primary colors red, green, blue. So the only function of these filters in here is to put the color onto your substrate. Right, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And those are all the primers down there. Oh uh, yeah. And that is to make these filters stick to your substrate. Yeah. And then your clear coats is to make is to protect your filter yeah. on your substrate. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, so these yeah. are all just like mixing ingredients. You get to make like millions of different types of any, paint. Yeah, any, yeah. Any color that's in the system, yeah. we can make. So every factory color in the world. Exactly. Yeah. Well, awesome. We've got this tool here, which is called a spectro. Yeah. That measures color. Oh, wow. So it takes yeah. a few measurements, you put that on something you want to measure. Yeah. But you it and it will give you a formula. A formula closest to the known formula oh, that they yeah. got. Yeah, there's a lot more to this industry than <laughs> you know people think we know about. Yeah, you don't just slap it on, eh? No. A lot of technology <laughs> yeah, yeah. in today's day and age that allows us to produce some of the finishes that we can get. Yeah. Very cool. You can see that primer has uh, dried, now he's about to do the first coat of paint. It's so interesting how, um, you know, all those colours, you know, it's only like 75% actually black and there's a lot of blue, yellow, purple in the paint as well. And, and I, I had no clue, I thought it was just one colour, you know, it's, um, it just comes in a box and he <laughs> sprays it on, but no, it's, it's, it's so much to it, it's nuts. Ooh, look at that. Sweet, so here it is, all finished up. Looks fucking mint. Looks absolutely brand new. It's gorgeous. Look at that. Absolutely perfect. So happy. I'm, I'm super happy with how uh, this middle section here turned out. Hey, look. You know, like, see it from like that angle. You know. So much cleaner than having the front bumper on there. Just oh, so happy with how this has turned out. What's up guys, it's Ben. Um, so yeah, it's been a few more days and the car is finally done. I won't show you the front at first. Uh, I've been super busy lately and Grant's uh, just finished it off. It's a Sunday today. Super appreciative of him for finishing up on a Sunday. Um, just one more time, you need to get your paint done, your paint, you know, your smoking, your wheels, you know, your cut and polishes, your everything. You need to get it done by Grant here at Custom Coatings in Albany, Auckland. Um, he does an incredible job. The attention to detail is amazing that I'll show you in a second. Um, but yeah, just wanted to plug him one last time because he's the man. 
and um, yeah, so finally picking it up. Um, super stoked. Uh, sick of driving around in my little Hyundai. Um, so yeah, let's start at the back here. So the, uh, the tail light smoking is absolutely beautiful. We actually, as Grant said before, decided to leave a bit of it stock. So that's the stock brightness, and that's the uh, probably you can see it easier like this. So like wash away that. So that's the stock brightness, and that's what he what has made it to, except for the reflector part. So it's actually quite a lot darker, and from far away it looks so so much better. I mean, just look at that. It looks so much cleaner. And then we've got the blacked out badges, and I'm really, I was, honestly, I was a bit, uh, bit not too sure about these at first, but they look incredible. So we've got a bit of a contrast here. We've got um, the badges in matte black, or satin, and then the rest of the car is glossy, obviously. He has uh, refurbished this carbon fiber, which just looks incredible. Absolutely perfect now. Um, there was a bit, it was, a, it was really scratched up and just kind of faded before and he's, um, he's just put that back together really well. He gave the entire car an incredible polish. As you can see, it's just glowing, super reflective, car looks amazing. Now, we, what else do we have? We've got these that are smoked, those came out really good. They just, you know, kind of the back of the car looks a bit more, I don't know, it just looks, it just looks cleaner. Then we've got indicators here. Uh, those have been smoked as well. You know, just once again makes the whole whole car flow better. You know, there's none of that white breaking it up. And then finally, we come around to the front, and the front has been completely fixed. Beautifully done. Absolutely stoked with how this came out. We've installed the fog lights, and uh, these. Uh, I didn't have these on the car before, as you probably would have heard, and they make a huge difference. They look so good. And then we've got the front license plate delete here, which just looks amazing. So happy with how this came out. Grant's installed a nice mesh here. I'll show you a bit more. Like this really nice bit of, bit of mesh there. And the, the entire car just looks so much cleaner now. It just looks incredible, so I can't thank him enough. And yeah, that's um, that's pretty much it for this little uh, mini series with custom coatings. I hope you guys enjoyed the um, kind of behind the scenes details and how all that stuff gets done. It's really interesting, you know, especially all that paint. How the black paint's only like actually 70% black, and then the rest of it's like yellow and blue. Really interesting. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, I got a few more mods coming for the 350 very soon. So stay tuned for that. Uh, click subscribe. Click that alarm bell so you can get notified when I post and leave a comment down below on what you enjoyed and what you want to see in the future. Cheers guys, see you soon.